Hey everybody, welcome to PBM Spitting Entertainment and welcome back to another episode of Thomas and Friends DVD Reviews and today we're going to be talking about Thomas and the Really Brave Engines. So, without further ado, let's jump into the history of Thomas and the Really Brave Engines. So, Thomas and the Really Brave Engines was originally released on VHS and DVD back in February 7th of 2006 by Anchor Bay and Hit Entertainment. And of course, just like with most Thomas Homeo releases, Thomas and the Really Brave Engines received a wooden train bonus pack release and you can either get it in this style or this style and then somewhere around 2009 thomas and the really brave engines was re-released on dvd by lionsgate and there is also a dvd copy of thomas and the really brave engines that comes with bonus flash cards and there's of course a canadian dvd copy of thomas and the really brave engines and Thomas and the Really Brave Engines can be found in the double feature pack with Thomas and the Toy Workshop. And Thomas and the Really Brave Engines can be found in multi-packs as well, such as Totally Thomas Volume 4, the Playday Pack, and also Discovery on the Rails. And now we got the history out of the way, let's jump into my copies of Thomas and the Really Brave Engines. Alright, now let's jump into my copies of Thomas and the Really Brave Engines. So... Here we have the front poster, got the blue border for outlining, and then Thomas Friends logo, Thomas and, really brave, Thomas and the Really Brave Engines and Other Adventures. It doesn't make any sense. They gotta stop doing that and Other Adventures. There's no episode called Thomas and the Really Brave Engines. That's just the name of the home media release. Anyways, there we've got Thomas and Gordon and Donald and Douglas at the bottom with Sir Top and Hat and Lord Callan. This is seen from Bad Day at Castle Lock. This is a slim case copy. I don't have the regular case, which hopefully I'll find it in the future. So, uh, <laughs> so don't go commenting like, are you going to get that in the future? Don't worry. I'm, I'm really going to try my best. Yeah, because that one YouTuber kept commenting... On, are you gonna get that and that in the future? Yeah, I can't I can't take it anymore like it's just it's got to stop Anyways Here we have Thomas friends logo Thomas and friends logo. Excuse me. I can't even talk making tracks to great destinations and This is a scene from all over the snow engine Sorry, I got I got it itch And a scene from James and the Queen of Sodor and blurb and bonus features and story stops anchor bay at the left side and at the right side hit entertainment and we've got thomas the tank engine over there and let's pop it open here's the disc squish a version of the poster art and the booklet which we'll take a look at right now here's the same exact front poster art and Hop on board for train loads of fun with all your Sodor friends. And this page just talks about what's on the DVD, what you can do on the DVD. And collect all your favorite Thomas and Friends videos on VHS as well as DVD. Yep. Next up, I have the double feature pack with Thomas and the Toy Workshop. Has that game exchange sticker, which those are the worst to peel off, believe me. I go to Game Exchange a lot. Anyways, this is the Lionsgate reprint. So you got Lionsgate logo and then Care Profile Thomas. Or Car I'm sorry, Care Profile Cartoon Thomas. And then New Style Hit logo. And then you got a little blurb about Really Brave Engines. And all that content. And it's a double sided DVD. So side, yeah, side B is Read the Brave Engines, and side A is Toy Workshop. Here's the Universal reprint, which of course this one's better because you'll you'll see why. Universal logo at the bottom, DVD logo, Carpal Paul Thomas, New Style Hit logo, back. Yeah, you can clearly see why the Universal re-releases of the Thomas Double Features are way better because they they have the disc, DVDs, the two DVDs separated. That's why I like. 
And Really Brave Engines is this one. Yep. Last but not least, the Playdate Pack. In this pretty nice slip cover. I did not get this from Walmart. I got this out of Half Price Books. Just a little heads up. Sponge to like protect the DVDs. Anyways, advertisement for Rory the Racing Car. And here's Thomas and the Razor Brave Engines. It's the same exact thing, so it doesn't matter if you get the Anchor Bay release or the Lionsgate release, you're always gonna get this this one. Well minus the uh, of course the Lionsgate where it has like a double sided DVD, of course. Let me set that all aside for now. And now, let's jump into the menu tour for Thomas and the Really Brave Engines. Alright, so we have now jumped into the menu tour for Thomas and the Really Brave Engines. So we have Play All Stories, Pick a Story, Fun Games, Sing Along Song, and Read Along Story. Let's go to Pick a Story, like we always do. So we have Thomas and the Search for Fergus, Bad Day at Castle Lock, Toby and the Windmill, The Runaway Elephant, James and the Queen of Sodor, and all over the snow engine. And all of these episodes are narrated by Michael Brendan. Fun games, which we'll go to that right now. So your fun games options are Sodor Spelling Game, Picture Puzzle Fun, Character Gallery, and Computer Fun. Let's take a look at the Character Gallery real quick. And we have James chopping out of the sheds. In the character gallery, it's yeah, it's the exact same thing as in Thomas Comes to Breakfast. So you got Thomas, James, and Percy, and Fergus, Gordon, Toby, Donald and Douglas, Harvey, Cranky, Duncan, and Sir Topham Hat. Oh. So yeah, this is basically how the character gallery on this DVD works and stuff like that pretty cool and then I'll tell you like a little fun fact back to the main menu shall we sing along song which is troublesome trucks read along story which is the midnight ride of Thomas the tank engine pretty cool and now let's jump into my review and thoughts on Thomas and the Really Brave Engines. So overall, do I recommend Thomas and the Really Brave Engines? Well, though I'm not a fan of how Hit Entertainment added music from eight seasons eight through twelve on season seven episodes, I gotta say this one's not a bad release. Like this one's a pretty pretty good release. Not as good as Hooray for Thomas and Other Stories, but better than Percy Saves the Day in my in my opinion. I mean, I'm not saying Really Brave Engines and Percy Saves the Day are bad. They're, they're good. They're just can't top the level of Hooray for Thomas, where they actually got, like, the name boards. Because, of course, Season 7 is a classic season, even though some people in the fandom say it's not a classic season. Because, well, with, like, uh, how Hit Entertainment wanted to add, like, uh, music. Because back in New Friends for Thomas, they added... Origin, they they had the original music and same thing with Thomas and Jen and other stories. But when pers but when Hooray for Thomas came along, the episodes like they didn't use Mike and Junior's music. They decided to use the hit era music. Same thing with Percy Saves the Day and same thing with this one. I gotta say this one's not a bad release. Feels like I want to recommend this, but it feels like I want to recommend this because I love hearing some of the. Some music, like I love hearing Donald and Douglas, the, the Donald Douglas theme slash, slash Scottish theme in Bad Day at Castle Lock, and I love hearing that Runaway Elephant theme, like I love how it's like slow, well, steady and slowly but surely at first, and then started to pick up the pace and stuff like that, that was pretty cool, and I love hearing the Troublesome Trucks song, that was, that's pretty fun too. To sing along and to hear. So, 
if you're a so if you're a Thomas fan that loves season seven, no matter what, go ahead and pick this up. But if you're not a fan of Michael Brandon's season seven narration, you prefer Michael Angelus, go ahead. And you you don't have to pick this product up if you're not a fan of Michael Brandon's narration. Or if you just hate season seven overall, then this one's not for you. But I personally think every Thomas fan should own Thomas and the Really Brave Engines because... I don't know. It's not. It feels like it's not that easy to find Thomas and the Really Brave Engines, in my opinion. At least it's not easy to find it solo, in my in my opinion. I, I normally find this one in Thomas and the Toy Workshop and stuff like that. And of course, let me tell you the VHS the VHS tape. But of course, it's really rare. And I saw on eBay like it goes for a hundred dollars to two hundred dollars, like. That's insane, people. I mean, come on. Wake up, people. I I wish I could find Thomas and Really Brave Engines for a very good, fair price. And, of course, as good condition as possible. And I know T Tales from the Tracks, that's also another rare Thomas DVD, but that's another video. So, anyways. So, if you love Thomas and... If you love Thomas Season 7, no matter what... Go ahead and pick the pick this product up. But if you don't love Season 7, then you don't have to pick this product up. And or if you prefer Michelangelo's version, then you don't have to pick this product up. So that's going to do it for me, everybody. And the next episode will be on Trek Stars, so stay tuned. See you all next time. Bye.